Hello guys, this is Mauro from GreenFoodDeck.com and in this video I just want to show you uh, the installation process for the uh, Windows 10 9926 as uh, the installation uh, setup is pretty much the same as uh, Windows 8 and what we've seen before that but it's slightly changed on this um, uh, new version of Windows 10 so I just want to show you how that looks like and how do you install, how you make a clean install uh, of the operating system. Okay, um, one thing that you have to do is to download the, uh, if you're making a uh, clean installation, I would recommend you to download the uh, the ISO from the Windows Insider program. I'm going to leave a link on this on this video below. And then you just uh, create a, a USB or DVD drive. Or if you're using a virtual machine, like I'm doing right now, you just um, use the ISO and connect it to uh, the software virtualization that you're using. Once you boot up the um, the virtual machine, in, in this case, or computer, uh, you will get the uh, the Windows Wizard, and then we're just gonna click Next, and then we're gonna click Install. Now the setup is going to start, and it's gonna look the, uh, the hardware and get things ready. Okay, now we get the uh, license term that we have to accept. So we click, we accept, and click Next. And then, because this is a brand new installation, a clean installation, I'm gonna uh, click Custom. I'm going to choose the, uh, the drive that I have. And now it's just going to copy all the files, and everything's gonna get ready. So I'm gonna pause the video and come back when, when we uh, start doing the uh, the, the follow-up setup now we can see the uh, uh, the computer has restarted and now we're just getting ready for the setup I'm gonna pause I'm gonna come back when we uh, are ready to set up to configure the uh, the next stage on Windows all right so now we are in the um, the slightly uh, updated uh, setup wizard to uh, configure Windows 10. So I'm going to instead of using the, um, the Express settings, I just want to walk you through all the uh, settings. And we're going to uh, click uh, Customize and then Settings. Now we have the uh, the option to configure what kind of uh, network we're connected to. So I'm just going to uh, click yes uh, for home or uh, work network. Now as you, uh, we can, as you can see, uh, we can choose to have the uh, uh, drivers, apps, and other devices uh, updated automatically. So I'm going to leave those on. And then you also have some uh, protection settings. Uh, privacy settings that you can set like the uh, the new tr uh, do not track request and the um, smart screen for internet explorer so i'm going to click next and then we have other settings that we can check we can you know i'm just going to leave all the defaults but you can see that we have uh, other settings that we can set click next and then we have the uh, share info uh, with Microsoft and other services that you, that you can set all the, the way you like. By default, by default, uh, they are all uh, turned on, but you can set them off if you want. Like, uh, like for example, like let apps use advertising ID for experience across apps. We can check that off if you like. And I'm just gonna leave all on. And then I'm gonna click next. And I'm just going to Check the connection. Next, it's just going to uh, Windows going to try to set up my uh, Microsoft account. Let me see if that works. All right, so I'm going to enter my credentials. Next. Now I'm going to send a code to my alternate email address. Now 
I'm just going to finalize the installation. And now we get the uh, the uh, welcome messages. And it's going to so it's just going to proceed installing the apps and finishing installing the uh, the um, applications on Windows 10. So I'm just uh, going to wait for that to happen and I'll be back and show you the end results. And here we are. Uh, this is the um, after you uh, finish installing the operating system, you will get the, uh, the new desktop, the new taskbar, and the uh, new uh, start menu. Now you can have, you know, you can have the uh, the new menu expand. You can go to table mode, which is the um, uh, which is the um, uh, continuing mode. The Microsoft um, uh, it's uh, introducing in Windows 10. And let me get out of that. And this is of course the new notification center and you can start using Cortana. You need to enable it, enable her, and set up the options that you like. I'm just gonna take whatever for now. I'm gonna call Chief. Sounds good. I'm done. And then if you like, you can go to settings, and you can choose the, to have, for example, the options to say uh, to use Cortana with hands-free using the A Cortana settings which is off by default but you can turn it off and then you simply say hey Cortana and she will pop up so I hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing